Hello planner friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another plan with me for you for the week of November 8th through November 14th of 2021. For this week I did pull in the August 2020 mystery kit from Scribble Friends Co. along with a bunch of this copper foil. I'm pretty sure one of the copper foil bundles actually came with the August mystery kit and then I just had a bunch of extra copper foil that I think I just sort of supplemented that with. I just, I had a ton of these copper foil sheets and I, I don't know, I guess I just figured I would just pull all of the copper foil in and make it all nice and shiny. So I am just going ahead and starting off with my date covers. Obviously all of the date dots came with the copper foil. I guess I can talk a little bit briefly about this week. So this was the third wedding, I think, that I went to in 2021. I know a couple of the weddings that I went to in 2021 were actually postponed from 2020, so it was nice to be able to get together and celebrate with people after, you know, 2020 just being the disaster that it is. Although, frankly, I'm <laughs> not sure any of these recent years after 2020 have been much better, frankly. But, uh, yeah, that, I'm just, I'm gonna leave it right there. So I did go ahead and pull in all of the full boxes that I wanted to use. I really wanted to use this giant full box that I think was a freebie that came with this kit, but I just, I loved the giant full box and I figured I wouldn't really have a whole lot of to-dos to mark for this week, or I guess there weren't a lot of to-dos that I felt strongly about marking. So I just, you know, nixed that like heart full box checklist that I usually end up with in my sidebar. But anyway, I was kind of hoarding this kit from the year before. So this was, you know, obviously plans from 2021, but then the kit was from 2020. And I just remember this kit coming out in 2020 and being like, dang it. I already picked out all of my fall kits and most of them have been put down already. I probably would have bumped something for this kit if I hadn't already had it, you know, pre, I don't know, I film all of my bases like way in advance usually. So, you know, had I not put all of those bases down super far in advance, I probably would have bumped a different kit for this one in 2020, but you know. So we didn't actually go on a road trip or anything, but I just, I really loved this kit and I loved all of the fall colors and all of the fall vibes. And I really didn't have a particular reason to use this other than I thought it was super cute. So I just pulled it in. I totally talked over a bunch of things that I did, so I guess I'll just quickly mention the water trackers are all from Glam Planner. I'm pretty sure I showed the Glam Planner pages just before I put down all the water trackers. I did just want to mention that those are all from Glam Planner. And then for the bottom washi, I think the, like, the solid burgundy color washi, I'm pretty sure that was a freebie that came with this mystery kit as well. And then I just trimmed down the patterned washi that came with the kit and put, I don't know, foil overlays over both of those things. For the patterned washi, it's usually just easier for me to try to cut it and put the overlays down on top of the patterned washi off camera just because, like, I have my face about an inch from that page when I'm trying to trim and put down the foil overlays. Um, so it's just, it's a lot easier to not have my head in the frame of the camera and also have you guys like be able to see the spread as I'm putting all of the stickers down. I don't know. I, I really have a strong dislike for whenever my head pops into the frame. So I try to do that as infrequently as possible. So yeah, there's that. Moving back into the sidebar, I did pull in both of the habit trackers that came with the kit and then what am I doing here? I don't know what I did, but that, okay. So that, um, 15 millimeter strip definitely stays. And then I put down the foil overlay that went over top of that at some point. There it is. Okay. And then I used a piece of washi and layered this week header over that and then used the weekly ombre to track my steps like I had been doing. I really loved that dog deco and I needed to have that in this spread. So I just pulled it into the bottom of my sidebar. 
And then at the very top of my sidebar, I pulled in two of the deco stickers that came with the kit. And then the November script is from Letters to Apollo. I think I forgot to mention the two scripts that are in the habit trackers are both from Kinsey's Creations. From there, I just went ahead and moved into my day by day. So on Monday, the first thing that I marked was that I had a plan with me go live. The film clapper sticker is from Mandy Dreams, who is no longer open. And then the plan with me script is from Kinsey's Creations, who is also unfortunately no longer open. Then I marked that it was trash day. The trash icon came with the foil bundle. And then the trash day script is from planner just for you. Then I marked work. I was working from home that day and I just pulled in the label that came with the kit. I also recorded a voiceover. The microphone sticker is from Soda Pop Studio. The script is from Planner Just For You. And then I did some editing. The edit icon is from the foil bundle and the script is from Kinsey's Creations. I did also want to mention, I'm pretty sure the transition to me no longer recording myself writing on the planner page was for my previous plan with me, the one with the Autumn Magic kit. For that entire spread, I don't think I used any scripts other than what I used in the sidebar, so it just didn't really make sense to me to have you guys sit there and watch me write every single thing in my planner. And then I discovered that I really, really enjoyed that, so I'm pretty sure this is where I made that switch. I totally missed the second half of Monday, so I'll just quickly go through I did some laundry, the script is from Kinsey's Creations, and the icon is from Scribble Prince Co. The mochi ice cream sticker is from Hey Soul Sticker, and then I watched Cowboy Bebop with my husband, and the couple watching TV sticker is from Once More With Love. On Tuesday, I, well, Monday night into Tuesday morning, I really did not sleep very well, so I just marked I slept like crap with this munchkin from Once More With Love, who looks very tired. Then I marked working at the office with another label from the kit. I was clearly feeling very tired, so I just marked that as well. I think that was like my entire personality for the day, is I, I was just tired. And that was it. <laughs> so I used this uh, munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that. Then I uploaded a plan with me video. The icon is from the foil bundle. Actually, all of the icons for the second half of Tuesday are from the foil bundle. I uploaded my plan with me. The script is from Planner Just For You. And then I filmed the film script is from Kinsey's Creations. Then I had to pay some bills and I watched some more Cowboy Bebop with my husband, most likely. We were re-watching, or he was re-watching. I was watching for the first time Cowboy Bebop, like the original anime series. And I did really, really enjoy that. I think we were going to watch the live action version and then we watched like part of the first episode and we were like, nah, can't do this. Can't do it. So we, you know, just plain quit it. So it happens. Moving on to Wednesday, I marked working from home the same way that I did for the rest of the week. Then I had my vaccine booster appointment that day. The shot icon is from Little Miss Papery, I think. Then I marked laundry. The laundry icon is from Once More With Love. I did use three script stickers in that box. All of those are from Kinsey's Creations. Then I marked a voiceover. The microphone sticker is from Soda Pop Studio. I did some more editing and the icon is from Scribble Prince Co. as is the little like noodle box icon that's from Scribble Prince Co. too. Actually, most of these icons are from Scribble Prince Co. I really wanted to use all of the foil icons if I possibly could. In that last box for Wednesday, I marked snuggling my kitty. The snuggle Kyo script was a custom from Kinsey's Creations. The icon is from SPC. And then I made some phone calls to both of my parents and my uncle. And the phone icon is from SPC from the foil bundle as well. On Thursday morning, I was not feeling well. I don't remember why, but I used this like <laughs> dead looking face from, I think, I think that's from Once More With Love. Then I spent part of Thursday working from the office and part of it working from home. I think most likely I probably went into the office earlier in the day and then when I really felt like I wasn't feeling well, I decided to go home. It probably was just like food not sitting well with me because I'm 
usually like I'm not the type of person who goes to work sick and like and, you know tries to get everybody else sick so that's what happened uh anyway then I marked uploading the uh YouTube sticker is from SPC as is the bag sticker below it that I used to mark getting Panera it was also Veterans Day the Veterans Day script is from Rose Colored Days and then the bow sticker is from SPC and then I slept early and pulled in one of the like foil boxes from the foil bundle uh the bear onesie munchkin is from once more with love and then the sleep early script is from planner just for you on friday morning i had a monthly highlights video go live so i just pulled in the monthly live script from planner just for you along with another film clapper from mandy dreams i really love that champagne color foil clapper that goes really well with this kit good job past me uh, anyway, uh, clearly I'm in a mood today. Um, then I marked working from home the same way that I did for the rest of the week and did some laundry. The laundry icon is from Once More With Love and the script is from Kinsey's Creations. Then I needed to make a target run. The icon is from SPC and the script is from Kinsey's Creations. We got Jet's Pizza for dinner that evening, so I pulled in this pizza icon from SPC. And then I worked on creating a wish list, probably for the holidays, for gift ideas. That's probably what I was doing. So I pulled in this gift sticker from SPC to mark that. On Saturday morning, I marked Snuggling My Maisie Girl. The script is a custom from Kinsey's Creations and the icon is from SPC. Actually, the next combination is a Kinsey's Creations and SPC combination. Uh, I painted my nails and the icon is from SPC. Then I started getting ready for the wedding. This Glam It Up Munchkin is from Once More With Love. And then we had the wedding later that evening and I just pulled in this wedding couple sticker from Once More With Love as well. Moving on to Sunday, I snuggled my Maple Girl. I pulled in another paw print icon from SPC and a Snuggle Maple custom script from Kinsey's Creations. That morning, we probably had Tim Hortons delivered, most likely. We probably door dashed that. The coffee icon is from SPC and the script is from Kinsey's Creations. I also had a migraine that morning. Yeah, definitely definitely we had that delivered because there's no way that I go out with a migraine in the morning. It just, no, just never, never a good idea. Migraine and driving, not a good idea. Anyway, um, <laughs> that like crazed looking munchkin face is from Once More With Love. The migraine script is from Kinsey's Creations. And then I watched some Netflix. Uh, we watched Red Notice that day. I vaguely remember doing that, but the Netflix icon is from Once More With Love. Then I had some planning time. The script is from Kinsey's Creations and the icon is from SPC. We also watched, this is just like a super heavy movie day. No Time to Die, we watched that on Amazon and the Amazon laptop sticker is from Moonlight Paper Co. And then Snuggled My Maisie Girl, the paw print sticker is from SPC and the script is from Kinsey's Creations. So here is the finished spread and a little viv wiggle to show off all of the gorgeous copper foil. I really love how shiny this spread turned out. And here is everything that I had left in the kit. I hope you enjoyed this spread and that you are all doing well and taking good care. And I will see you in my next video. Take care, everyone.